Now you are familiar with the basic workflow. You already knew about this line tool. Let's see about polyline tool. Now select this polyline. Click at a point, next point, next point, next point and so on. Then press enter to exit from polyline command. This is a polyline. Now click at line command and do the same. Press enter to escape from line command. The basic difference between this polyline and line command is if you select polyline the complete set of lines will be selected but if you select line only that particular segment will be selected and all of these are separate. This is the basic difference between this polyline tool and line tool. Now let's see how to make circle. To make the circle you can select the circle tool. Then click at a point. Now AutoCAD is asking to specify radius of circle. Now we have to type the radius value. So I'll type 50 feet as the radius value and click outside of the circle. Now we have the circle of radius 50 feet. You can also type the diameter. Go to circle again. Click at a point. And now instead of radius I will go to the command line and I will click on this diameter. And now AutoCAD will prompt for the diameter value. So if I type 50 feet it will make a circle of radius 25 feet. Similarly, we have the arc tool. Click this arc tool. First point, second point and third point. Using first click, second click and third click we can make an arc. And also there are other features which you can use to make different kind of arcs and it just depends on the kind of workflow and the drawing that you have and depending upon that you can select from any of these arc tools. You can move your complete drawing area using pan tool. This is the pan tool. The cursor is changed to small hand. As you know that just press and hold your mouse wheel and pan it around. But what if you want to move only selected drawings for example, if you only want to move this rectangle, then you can use the tool right here on the modify panel called move. Select the object that you want to move and press enter. Now select the center or any other point and then move it to your desired point. So I am going to select this point. and I want to move here. This is my desired point. So now I have moved my rectangle from this point to this point. Now I will do it again. Go to move tool. Select this arc. Press enter. Select the base point. I am going to select this midpoint as my base point. Now I am going to select my desired point. This is my desired point. And I have moved my arc here. Here we have it our arc. Now the copy command works in a similar way. But in this case instead of moving the object it will create copies. I will go to the copy tool. Click this copy tool. Select object you want to copy. Now I am going to select this arc and press enter. Now I am going to select the center of the arc to pick this arc. Look at this, we still have the original object 
but now a new copy is also created now click at this point next point next point and you will have multiple copies of the same object now to exit this copy command press escape key rotate tool here we have the rotate tool select this rotate tool select the object you want to rotate i'm going to select this same arc press enter now we have to specify the base point i'm going to specify this point as my base point now your object will start rotating along that base point now look at the command line it is prompting you to specify the rotation angle so let's type 45 and end up look at this now the arc is rotated to an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the original arc base point now let's measure both the circles for that you have to go to utilities under utilities measure option is here here if you click this radius you can select circle here you can see the radius of this circle 50 feet now let's check the radius of this small circle for that also you have to go under utilities then under measure you have to click this radius then select the circle you can see the radius of this circle is 25 feet now let's see how to measure the radius of this arc for that also you have to go under utilities you have to go to measure and click this radius and select this arc the radius of this arc is 53 feet 4 inches so in this way you can measure the circle and arc now let's see how to create a rectangle in AutoCAD for that you can use three method the first method is provide two corners we can provide two corners the second one is area method and the third one is dimension method I will explain three methods also first you have to go to rectangle tool AutoCAD is asking to specify first corner point so click that and now the AutoCAD is asking to specify other corner point so I am simply clicking other corner point now a rectangle is ready but if we need a rectangle of required size for that what we have to do go to rectangle tool first you have to specify first corner here you have to type at length I am going to give length as 50 feet comma and the width is 25 feet enter now the rectangle is drawn to my required size now let's check whether this rectangle is as per the size that I have given to check the measurement quickly you have to type the command M E A measure geom click this now see here the length of this rectangle is 50 feet and the breadth of this that is the width of this rectangle is 25 feet this is the first method that by providing two corners we have created a rectangle now let's see the area method for that again go to this rectangle tool specify first corner point now we are going to draw a rectangle using area so click this area AutoCAD is asking to enter area of rectangle in square inches so I'm going to give 2400 press enter now I'm going to give length of my rectangle so the length of my rectangle is 60 feet so enter now the rectangle has been drawn as per the area now let's check go to utilities measure area you have to click the four corners to check whether the area is correct or not press enter see here 
the area of this rectangle is 2400 square inches that is 16.67 square feet this is the area method now let's see the third method dimension method for that also click this rectangle tool specify first corner point now we have to click this dimension here autocad is asking to specify length of rectangle so i'm going to give here 50 feet and uh, now autocad is asking to specify width of rectangle i'm going to give 25 feet and uh, now after giving the length and breadth of rectangle see the rectangle is created as per dimension and you can click whether you need this side or this side you can fix this rectangle as per your wish so i'm going to click here now we can check whether this rectangle has came as per our dimension so type m e a see exactly it has came 50 feet as length and 25 feet as width that's it the shortcut command to open rectangle tool is you can type r e c in the command bar